right, guys. So um, I can see that attendance is little less. I was expecting full attendance today because I have to start this particular chapter since it has been getting delayed, right? Bharat, whatever frame you take, answer will not change. Time is independent of your frame, unless you are like uh, moving with speed of light or something. Anyways, so what I'm trying to say here is that may maybe your exams are on or whatever pressures you may have, but then uh, try attending all the classes, all right? Every class is very, very important. We discuss things which are beyond your, uh, you know, at times whatever is discussed in the school also. So these classes are very important. Anyway, since this is an online session, it will get recorded and available to you. But my point is, do not miss any of the classes. Anyways, write down this chapter name, which we are going to start. I hope you have enjoyed Laws of Motion chapter and you can appreciate how uh, simple the theory is and how uh, how difficult or how tricky the questions can be okay so it it's fun you know to try out various types of question in laws of motion chapter and it's a constant learning process do not try to master each and everything of laws of motion in just couple of weeks or couple of months you just have to solve like 100 to 200 questions and move forward slowly and slowly uh, you will master laws of motion chapter it takes year or one and a half years to master that so but then you can't stop and uh, just do that chapter okay write down work power energy or work energy power so the name of the chapter is not a phrase it's just like uh, three things which you're going to learn in this chapter work you will be learning what is work physically how you will quantify it then you will be learning what is power and then you will be learning what is energy okay so you will not stop after learning it individually you'll also learn what is the connection between energy and work or what is the connection between power or work fine so this chapter is all about uh, these three things which you can see as a title fine work power and energy okay the best part of this chapter is you're not dealing with vectors okay work is a scalar quantity Power is again a scalar quantity and energy is also a scalar quantity. So you never have to bother to take components of work to know the direction of the work or to know the component of energy or direction of energy. You know, you are dealing with a number, okay, which has no direction sense. It's like a mass or time, a volume, density, fine. Similarly, these three terms work power and energy all right so but then the definition of work may involve few vectors how it is defined the outcome is a scalar fine so although the work is a scalar quantity but in order to find the work you are dealing with vectors so i will quickly revise few things that are useful to find the work okay or the way you define the work, all right? Now, before I even go uh, on to define all these things, I will first touch upon what it is, okay? Now, just write down these three things on your notebook, work, power, and energy, fine? Right now, we are just trying to define what it is that we are going to study. What is work? How you'll define the power and how you will define the energy? Because the way you define will tell you how you will measure it. Okay. Now, can you type in what do we mean by work? What comes in your mind when somebody says work is done or I'm done with the work? What does it mean actually? Work is spending of energy. Okay. 
see bharat i am not uh, getting into mathematical part of the work right now i just want to know what it is as in when somebody says have you done your work like if if i ask you have you done your homework you will not say okay force into displacement right so uh, the definition of work should uh, you know take in all the scenarios possible the way it is defined what it is some useful outcome out of effort or energy does it need to be a useful outcome does it need to be useful i mean i can do i mean if if you ask me to uh, you know to do something i i can you know it is one thing to not to do something but it is another way to you know if you ask me to save money and i start spending it so i am not doing a useful work according to what you have tasked me to do okay so okay some force force done object moves through some distance so okay that is fine but see i am not getting into the you know the mathematical part of it when somebody ask you that have you done your work what does it mean and like if you say i am done so what does it mean work is applying force to do something when you study for your exam what force you are applying being involved in some activity to achieve result okay more or less you guys uh, know what you are talking about but then somehow you are not able to put it in you know proper words so let me uh, write down here work is some change in the status okay so like for example uh, whatever state you are in okay if that state changes be it learning something be it uh, doing anything if that state is changing then there is some change that has happened and that change defines whether work is done or not okay if you maintain the same state which you were in before and after then work is not done okay so work is work represents some change in the status quo are you getting it now the same philosophy is taken in the physics also okay that it should represent a change there should be a change now when you talk about a change in physics okay when you talk about a change in physics it usually means a displacement it usually means whatever was a location of object has it changed or not the change in the coordinates or the displacement represents the change sorry represents the you know yeah that represents the change okay and if that change is not there or displacement of the object is not there then no matter how much effort you are applying work done will be zero okay it is like this when you sit in a chair to study something no matter how long you sit in the chair if you have not solved five questions that i have given you for homework you have not done the homework you can't say that i have made so much effort because that's not i am asking you for i am asking you whether you have done or not done the work whether the status quo was changed or not all right so in physics the the change is represented by the displacement fine this change represented by the displacement okay so if you apply an effort okay if you apply an effort which in physics is force okay when you apply a force and that leads to some change 
if that leads to some change or that leads to some displacement you say that work is done by the force okay work is done is not a proper statement when you say work is done you have to specify which force has done the work okay it's like this if you take a mass if you take a mass like this if i am applying force in this direction but the object is moving in that direction then can you notice that this displacement whatever is this block moving let's say this block has moved by 1 meter is this 1 meter because of this force yes or no is this displacement because of that force no so this displacement is not because of this force all right so that is the reason why work done by this particular force is zero so this force do not do any work in this particular scenario all right maybe there is a force acting from down let's say this is f1 which is causing the displacement so this particular force has done the work all right so there has to be a sense of direction also when we talk about work done by a particular force fine so we will take this work a definition of work in detail in little bit time R right now let's talk about power so right now i'm just introducing these three terms okay so i hope you are now clear with the definition of what is work now can you tell me what is the definition of power what does it mean now power is actually rate at which write down rate at which work is done fine so you might be doing lot of work you might be doing 100 joules of work okay but if that 100 joules of work takes you uh, one year okay and if there is some other uh, person that is able to do 100 joules of work in just one hour the amount of work done is same but rate at which you have done the work is completely different okay so at times rate of work is very important all right it's like saying that have you heard of birbal ki khichdi you put a utensil you put a utensil very far away from the flame okay slowly and slowly your food will cook okay it will take lots and lots of time fine and if you are putting the utensil near the flame maybe food will get cooked fast fine so amount of heat required to cook the food will be same in both but the rate at which the heat is getting inside the food is different so rate is a very very important aspect of everything you do okay you Will not. I mean, you don't want to take five years to clear JEE, right? Isn't it? So that's how. I mean, that's how important the uh, the aspect of the time is. So the aspect of the time is captured by the power. How fast work is done, and the amount of change or amount of work is taken care by the definition of work. All right. So this is rate of doing work power. fine now what is energy what do we mean by the energy any one of you what is energy energy is ability to do work okay any other answer capacity potential great great so energy is nothing but plain and simple it is your capacity to do work okay does it mean work is done no it doesn't mean that work is done it just tells you how much capacity you have to do the work 
all right for example a particular student may have a capacity to be in top 1000 ranks okay but that just a capacity if that individual do not uh, follow the regime in a systematic manner do not listen to his teachers what they are saying he'll not even be clear the j forget about coming in top 1000 fine so capacity is not the measure of how much work is done capacity just says that you you are capable of doing work fine now if you do the work you will spend some energy okay if you have zero energy if you have no energy you will not be able to do the work because energy is required to do the work it is a capacity to do the work if you don't have energy you have zero capacity to do to do the work fine so this just tells you how much is your capability to do the work fine so even capacity is very important to measure until and unless you know how much energy is there you will not be able to effectively find out how much work you can extract out of that energy fine all right so we have learned in thermodynamics right so this energy may be the heat energy okay until unless you know that how much heat energy is absorbed you will never be able to find out how much work will be coming because of that absorption of energy fine so all these three terms are very very important when you will learn this you will see that they are mixed i mean you can't just study energy separately you can't just study work separately all right so that's what these three terms are all about okay you have any doubts till now all of you please message if you have any doubts